Welcome back everyone. Now we all know that Windows 10 and 11 comes with a lot of bloatware pre-installed on it, such as Skype, Cortana, Xbox Game Bar, and many more, which can slow down your system. But what if I told you that you could create your own clean custom version of Windows 10 or 11 that is lightweight, super efficient, and fast, similar to Tiny 11 and Windows Atlas but safer because you have created it yourself. Let me show you how. First, let's download and install a free 100% clean Windows configuration tool called NT Lite. Open your browser and let's go to NT Lite website. You can find the link down in the descriptions or simply search for NT Lite. Once you're at the site, click on the download from the top menu if you are using a 64-bit system, click on the download 64-bit, otherwise choose 32-bit option, and then click on download. The download should start automatically, and since it's only about 24 megabyte, it won't take long time. Once the download is complete, open the folder where the file was saved, right-click on the anti light exe file, and select run as an administrator. Click yes when prompted and the setup will begin. Check the agreement box and click next. If you want to change the installation location, you can do so here. Click next again to proceed and next one more time to start the installation. After it finishes, click finish. When you open the NT light for the first time, you'll see a box with option for licensing. Choose the free version and click on OK and the main anti-light window will appear. Next, you'll need to download the Windows ISO file either for Windows 10 or Windows 11, depending on which version you want to customize. Now, it's really important to download it from the official Microsoft website to avoid any viruses or spyware. Open your browser and let's open a new tab. If you want to download the Windows 11, just search for Windows 11 ISO download and click on the first link from the result. Scroll down to the download Windows 11 disk image section. Click on the drop down menu and select Windows 11 multi edition ISO. Click on the download, then choose your product language. Click confirm and finally click on 64 bit download to start the download. If you're downloading the Windows 10 ISO, just search for Windows 10 ISO download and make sure to download it from the official Microsoft website. Once the download is complete, let's go back to the NT Lite window. Click on Add at the top left, then select Image, ISO. Since we need to extract the ISO, now navigate to the location where your ISO file was downloaded I'll select my Windows 11 ISO, then click on Open. NT Lite will display all the available versions of Windows 11. You can choose your Windows 11 version here. I'll select Windows 11 Pro, right click on it, click Load, and then click on OK. And now the loading process will start, which will take some time, so wait until it's 100% complete. Alright, so the ISO has successfully loaded and you can see it indicated by the green loaded status. Once it's loaded, you'll find all the categories on the left-hand side that you can use to customize your ISO. Let's begin the process. On the far left, under integrated section, you'll find the update option. When you click on the update, you'll see that some updates are already included, but there might be few missing. You have two options. You can either process with the missing updates and update them later after installing Windows, or you can click on the add, then latest online updates. This will show you all the available updates, including the ones you're missing. Select the updates you wanna include, and then click on the NQ button to add them to the installation. Next, we have the drivers section. If you click on the drivers, you'll have the option to manually add any drivers you need. Just click on the add, 
then select drivers file. If you've already downloaded any drivers, you can go ahead and select them to include them in the custom ISO. And next, we have the registry option. Now, this can be really useful if you want to include any registry preset with your new ISO. You can save a registry preset from the current or any other operating system. Click add and select the registry file. Choose the registry preset you want and click open. And it will be saved for your new customized ISO. Next, we have the post setup option. And here you can add any third party applications that you want to be automatically installed the next time you install the customized ISO. For example, you can add applications like Google Chrome or Notepad++. Just choose the application you want and they will be included in the post setup process. Next is the remove section. The first option here is the component. And if you click on the app section, you'll see all the plotware that comes pre-installed on Windows 11. This is where most of the customization will take place, which allows you to remove unwanted applications. For example, I'm going to uncheck the programs I do not need, such as Clipchamp, Cortana, Feedback Hub, Get Help, Mail and Calendar, Microsoft News, Microsoft People, Solidaire, Sticky Notes, Microsoft To Do, Movies and TV, and MSN Weather. And here is your chance to create a lightweight and bloodware free version of Windows. So just keep scrolling down the list and uncheck any applications you don't need. Under Network, here you have many options you can adjust. For example, if you do not need the remote desktop service, you can uncheck it. Similarly, if you don't require the Telnet client or simple TCP IP service, you can disable that as well. In the remoting and privacy section, you'll find additional items that you can uncheck if they are not needed. The system apps section is similar to the Windows application section where you can manage things like File Explorer and Microsoft Edge browser. Next, from the left-hand menu, you'll find the schedule task option. There is not much to do here, but if you want to cancel any default schedule task, you can do it from this section. To remove a schedule task selected from the list, on the right-hand side, you'll find a drop-down menu. Click on it and choose the option to remove the task. Simply remove any task you don't need. Next, let's go to the configuration section and click on the features options. Here, features that are enabled will appear in green, while those that are disabled will be in gray. You can choose to enable or disable any feature from this list. Now, spend some time reviewing these options. For example, if you don't need the Windows Sandbox or Windows Search, you can uncheck them from here. Next, let's go to the settings options where we can make various adjustments. At the top, you'll find auto logger tracing. Here you can see details of which features are enabled or disabled. For example, if you want to disable the Diag Trace listener, select it, then click on the arrow icon on the right hand and choose disabled. There are other categories like crash control and desktop. In the desktop section, you can customize Windows 11 or Windows 10 for instance, you can change the accent color, inactive title bar color, and the tab style. Now, one feature I like is the classic context menu. If you prefer the old Windows 10 context menu instead of the new Windows 11 version, you can enable it here. And if you want the classic version, select classic context menu, click the drop down on the right, and choose enable. You can also adjust settings like animation effects, dark mode for applications or windows, and the desktop icons, such as my computer, network, and the recycle bin. Now you can explore these options on your own to customize your windows experience to your liking. And next, 
There are the taskbar options where you can make changes to enable or disable features as needed. Then you have the event viewer channel. Now it's best to avoid making changes here unless you know what you are doing. Scroll down to the explorer options where you have several customization options. For example, if you want to disable the autoplay for USB or other external devices, you can do that here. You can also manage balloon notifications, enable or disable legacy settings like command prompt, directory shift, item display spacing, and file size display. If you want to show the clock in the taskbar, you can enable it by selecting the option from the drop down menu. You have another category like network with options for DNS multi home named resolution. You can make changes here if needed. Next is the power control where you can manage the fast startup option, which is enabled by default. If you want to disable it, click on the drop down on the right and select disable. You can also disable options like hibernate, sleep and log on from this menu. Finally, there is the Windows Defender. If you want to disable the Windows Security, you can do it here. Select Windows Defender Tamper Protection or any other option you want to disable and then choose Disabled from the right hand side. Next, you'll see the Windows Update option. Now, if you don't want updates, you can disable them here. You can also choose to disable options like download updates over metered connections or get the latest update as soon as they are available, which I'm going to disable. And there are other options you can check or disable as needed. You have the task options where you can disable any items you choose. In the next category under services, you can disable any services you don't need. You can review the list and choose which service to disable based on your preferences. There are also extra services you can check and manage here. Additionally, you can check out the unattended option here if needed. Once you're done, click on apply. This is a crucial step, so don't skip it. For the saving mode, keep it selected to save the image and set the format to WIM, which is the default. Next, make sure to check the create ISO option as we need an ISO image to install Windows 11. Click create ISO. You'll be prompted to choose a location where you will save the ISO. I'll select documents. For the file name, you can change it from anti light to something like Windows 11 custom or any name you like. Click save. Then it will ask you for a label, which you can change to Windows 11 custom as well. Finally, click on OK. Next, let's click on the process at the top left. You might see a message from the Windows Defender recommending that you disable real-time protection for faster processing. Now, it's a good idea to do this to avoid any issues and speed up the process. To disable the real-time protection, click on Yes. This will take you to the real-time protection settings. Go to Virus and Threat Protections. Click on Manage Settings under the Virus and Threat Protection and turn off the real-time protection. Click Yes to confirm. You can then close the settings. Now remember, you can re-enable this option after the process completes. Finally, you'll see a prompt to start applying all pending changes. Click Yes and the process will begin. During the process, you might be asked for permissions. Click OK and Yes when prompted. The process will take some time to complete. The first pop-up will indicate that the update is complete. Click OK. You might receive various other pop-ups asking for permission. So make sure you are at your PC to grant the permissions. The next pop-up will be related to the parallel extraction. So just click on OK. And now the process is complete. Click OK and then close the NT light. Next, let's go to the documents where you save the ISO file. And here you'll find a custom Windows 11 ISO we've just created. 
and now I'm going to install it on my computer to show you how it looks. As you can see, the Windows 11 custom ISO we've created has been installed on my computer. Now let's right click on the Windows icon and go to settings. Then apps and then select installed apps. As you can see, only few applications are installed here and the rest have been deblotted. Right click on the desktop or any applications and you'll notice the old context menu from Windows 10 instead of the Windows 11, which I prefer more. And if I open the task manager, you'll see that the dark mode is applied and you can see the performance is improved with fewer threads, processes and handles compared to the standard Windows 11. Now this is just from few customization. Imagine how much better performance we could get by doing more deblotting and stopping other services. Now that you have your custom Windows ISO, you can use it to install Windows on any device you want. And that's all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, bye for now.